Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 572, where we have 30 moves to collect 90 purple candies. And this board is a bit strange because this area isn't going to populate very well until I get these out of the way. So anything I can do to remove these, I think I need to work on here. Let's see. Well, I can't make any moves up here, so I'll go ahead and do this. But then we don't get any new population here, so we have to work on opening this up. We want as many candies on the board as possible, and opening these up helps that. This will allow this portal system to work. I think these are always vacant once they get vacant, um, but not a big deal. So, oh, nice. So I want to, on boards where I need a, um, a particular color. I want to ignore the fact that I need that color in the beginning anyway and just focus on all of the moves that can make the most chaos for me. I think I'm missing opportunities to make a color bomb here but maybe I can bring orange through that way. Nice! I think I was missing that over and over. I have a hard time focusing on two different parts of the board today I guess. Um, and I don't need to take out a purple to make this work. As a matter of fact, taking out a purple would just deplete the board of purple and I'd have to replenish it. But if I take out green, I'm already taking out purple because the green is making that space for me. Oh, oh good, yay, another one. It doesn't mean I can't take out purple or I'll never take out purple. Now looks like a good time to take out purple. Um, it just means that I, I don't have to wait for purple in order to make an impact. But notice now there's not a lot of purple on the board. I have a way to fix that though. I'm going to do this. I'm going to set these two together and a uh, color bomb with a stripe is going to replenish the board. It's going to take out most things and give us back a whole bunch of purple to saturate here. And color bombs beget color bombs. Actually not often when it's a um, a color bomb stripe combo or a color bomb raft. It's better off when it's just a color bomb with a single color, but that turned out okay for us right now. All right, let's see. Oh, that got that took something out, but that's okay. It took out the most prevalent color on the board. And again, when that happens, we get the saturation of all these other colors. Now I talk about how in the beginning I don't pay attention to, oh I really wanted to make a, a raft candy with that. In the beginning I don't pay attention so much to the color, but as we start to get to like about 10 moves and below, then I do start to focus on our target color. Um, by the way, this is my second playthrough on this board. I don't know if I would have beaten it first time through, um, but my cat decided to walk on the keyboard and <laughs> he quit the game and then said yes and quit the game totally. <laughs> I don't know how he did it. He's, he's a little miracle kitten. Look at all of this. Okay, so I have less than 10 moves, but I don't need that many here. So this should do it for me. All I have to do is put these guys together. This is a nice big disruption. It's like a striped wrapped combo. It takes out a different area, but maybe um, probably just about as many as a striped wrapped combo would take out with a swath of three by three. So that's how I beat this level on technically my second playthrough on the board. If you would like to see more videos, you can subscribe. If you have questions, please put those in the comment section, and I will try to respond as quickly as I can. And as always, thanks so much for watching.